This uh, tutorial is going to be in two sections. In the first section, I'm going to do SAX parsing. And in the second section, I'm going to be doing stack parsing. So for the SAX parsing, I'm going to be doing it in two ways. With a SAX parser and with an XML reader. And in both cases, I'm going to be populating domain objects and echoing the contents to the console. I'll uh, start by creating a new project. I'm going to call it uh, Sax or uh, Stax Reading Project. And uh, this is the XML file that I'm going to be reading, zaneacademy.xml. So it's going to be represented by uh, three domain classes, a uh, channel class that has uh, topics inside it, and a topic class that has uh, tutorials inside it. So let me go ahead and uh, create those two, those uh, three domain classes. And uh, I'm going to put them in uh, this package. And uh, I'll have two other packages. One where I'm going to implement uh, the SAX uh, functionality. And uh, another one where I'm going to implement the SAX functionality. Now in the SAX package, I'm going to have a handler for uh, the zaneacademy.xml and uh, I'm going to call that uh, handler ZA handler and it's going to extend from uh, default handler and uh, I'm gonna be implementing uh, the following method start document and uh, end document and uh, start uh, element and uh, end element and the characters uh, method Uh, I'll have a class that uses uh, SAX parser for uh, parsing and I'm gonna call it uh, SAX parser driver it's gonna have a, a main method and uh, another class that uh, uses the XML reader for uh, parsing and I'm gonna call it XML reader driver and it's also gonna have a main method 
Now uh, going to the handler class on the start uh, document what I'm gonna do is uh, instantiate a channel so let me go ahead and define it up here and uh, instantiate it in a start document and actually let me move this and put it uh, up here and uh, put end document down here now uh, going to the domain object the channel is gonna have uh, a name and uh, it's gonna have topics inside it and uh, I'll have a getter and setter method for the name and uh, an add topic method that would uh, add a topic to this uh, array list and uh, a get topics and set topics uh, methods now the topic is going to have a uh, name and an array list of uh, tutorials and a get and set methods for the name and an uh, add tutorials method that would uh, add a tutorial to the uh, tutorials array list and a uh, get tutorials and set tutorials uh, methods and uh, we're gonna have a default constructor and a constructor that uh, sets the name for this uh, topic. We're gonna have a tutorial that uh, has a name and a get and set method for that name and uh, has a default constructor and uh, a uh, constructor that uh, sets the name for this uh, tutorial. Now uh, going back to uh, VA handler in the start uh, element I'm gonna have uh, three options either it's gonna be a channel or it's gonna be a topic or a tutorial so either a channel tag or a topic or a tutorial tag and, uh, in case it's a channel I'm gonna pick up uh, the name of that uh, channel this attribute and I'm gonna set the channel call the set name method on the channel with that name and uh, in case it's a topic I'm gonna instantiate a topic object let me go ahead and define it up here and uh, I'm going to pick up uh, the attribute, the name attribute for that uh, topic and I'm going to set it to the, uh, the topic name with the set name method otherwise if it's a tutorial 
I'm gonna go ahead and instantiate a tutorial object so let me go ahead and define it up here also let me define uh, a current element an int which is the element being uh, currently navigated and uh, let me set uh, the topic element to be one and the tutorial element to be two and if it's a tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set the current element to the tutorial element otherwise if it's a topic I'm gonna set the current element to the topic element so now in the characters uh, method if the current element is the tutorial element I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick up the value and uh, set the name of the tutorial as that uh, value and uh, also have a get channel method that uh, gives me back uh, the channel and, uh, in the end element method I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check if it's a topic then I'm gonna add that uh, topic to the channel if it's a tutorial, I'm gonna add that uh, tutorial to the topic. Uh, let me put those in the right uh, order, I guess. And uh, on both the XML reader driver and the SAX parser driver, I'm gonna have a method that uh, prints out the channel. And uh, in the main method here, I'm gonna pick up a, a sax parser factory and uh, then pick up a sax parser. And uh, instantiate uh, the handler, VA handler and uh, go ahead and uh, parse the zingacademy.xml file passing in the VA handler and then uh, go ahead and display uh, the channel that uh, is returned using this uh, display channel method So let me go ahead and run this one and then uh, finish uh, the XML 
reader driver. So here we go. So uh, have a channel with the name of uh, Vein Academy, and the topic is uh, Java language, and the other topic is uh, object-oriented design patterns. And these are the tutorials. Okay, so XML reader driver. I'll uh, start by instantiating by picking up an XML re uh, reader from the SAX parser factory. Calling uh, new SAX parser and then uh, calling the get XML reader method. Uh, next I'm gonna instantiate a VA handler and then uh, uh, set the content handler on the XML reader to that uh, VA handler and uh, then go ahead and uh, parse that uh, XML file and uh, display the, cha the channel that is uh, returned the channel object using this display channel method. And here we go. So this one is with XML reader driver. In uh, part 2 of this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I did with the SAX parser, but with the stacks uh, parser.